There was once in Ulster a very wealthy landowner named Kermit. Now, though he was very wealthy, he was also very lonely. His wife had died some time before. His four children were grown. And a man without a wife was a lonely man indeed. But one day, he saw a woman coming towards him. And she was a fine woman in his eyes. In fact, she came straight into the home as if she were well used to it. She began cooking and cleaning and setting the servants to their tasks. And when evening came, she took his hand and went to bed with him. She was still there the next morning. <laughs> What you 
adopt them. Carnival looked down at her from his chariot. Who are you? <laughs> he said, I am Maka, daughter of a strange son of the ocean, and you have brought down your own fate. Let the race begin. And so the horses leapt forward, running harder and faster than any horses seen before or since in Ireland. But even Conobar's horses could not defeat a goddess. Maka's hair whipped in the wind as she ran beside the horses. She reached the other side of the field just ahead of the king's chariot, where she screamed as she gave birth to twins, a son and a daughter. With those dreadful screams, she laid a curse over the men of Ulster that for nine generations they would suffer pangs of the pangs of labor without rest or comfort in their time of greatest need. And then Maka took up her children and was seen no more. My friends, this is why when Maeve's armies invaded Ulster, all the men of Ulster were sick with the pangs. All but Kahui.